Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's WebWiz video number 42, where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now I'm a massive, massive fan of using video to support my teaching and to support the learning of my students. And my girlfriend said that's because I love the sound of my own voice. And whilst that might be true, I also think that videos have a big, big advantage over other mediums. And I say to my students that the world's worst way you can learn maths is just to read through a page of notes and examples. And that's because it's very easy to convince yourself that you understand where the next line of working's coming from, when you can just see the next line of work in a little bit below. Whereas with a video, um, you can pause it and you can predict what the next line of work is going to be. You can rewind it in case you've missed something. And also the notes and the, the visual things on the screen with a video are often supported by audio commentary or images or dynamic interactivities and things like that. So yeah, I can't get enough of video. Um, and there's loads of videos that are springing up left, right and center to support mathematics teaching. And if you just go on YouTube, you'll find literally thousands of them. We've got some really good ones on TES ourselves, and, and this isn't going to be the focus of today's WebWiz video, but I just wanted to show you this. If you go onto the uh, TES Maths homepage, or if you just Google uh, TES Maths resources, you'll see a link to the uh, resource collections page. And if you just click on that, I've assembled lo kind of my favorite sets of these videos. So if you go on TES Maths videos, these are particularly impressive. Brian and Colin's video collection, that's two teachers, and their A-level stuff is really, really good, really clear. Um, as are Tim Buckton's GCSE video solutions for taking your students through specific exam papers so I, I heartily recommend those but then there's this website and I just think this is absolutely fantastic if you google the maths teacher the maths teacher and there it is there themathsteacher.com give this a click and as soon as you give it a click a little video starts here so hello and welcome to themathsteacher.com whether you're looking for help with A level maths or GCSE maths and there he is, Mr. David Smith. And what a fantastic website this is. Really professional looking. And as soon as I came across this, I thought I'm going to have to pay a fortune here to access this. But no, absolutely free of charge. And it's it's just brilliant. So what I'll do, I'll take on a quick tour of the website. Then I'll talk about how I might use this or how I, in fact, have used this with my students. So the first thing is, um, these are your kind of two, the two most popular bits to click on. GCSE Maths. Now this is broken down into um, all the big areas and also it's broken down into foundation and higher. Now what's fantastic about this is each main topic comes with three things. A video, a set of notes and a set of um, examples for students to work through. And you don't often get that with, uh, with video websites. You just get the video themselves but this has kind of supplementary material and supporting material so you can follow it up. So let's click on uh, one here. My students, my year 11s, who will be sitting their exam very soon, absolutely hate SIRS. They can't stand it. I'm a big fan of SIRS, they're not. So I set them this to have a look at. So here's the SIRS video. It just takes a second just to load up. And it's really nicely laid out here because you have uh, David in the top right who will be chatting along in a second. Hello, and, welcome to a lesson on and then the working that goes on here. And if I just, instead of playing it, because you can play this in your own time, if I just kind of fast forward a little bit, just so you can see the kind of thing it looks like. So he goes through the kind of basic notes, and he gives you, but what's nice, he gives you commentary in a language that the students can understand. And again, if I just flick a little bit further forward, he addresses common misconceptions, the fact that you can't add um, or subtract so as easily as you can times and divide them. And it's a 19 minute video that's, kind of the first part of a lesson on SIRS that teach you, takes you through all the examples. And then as I say, that's then supported by these things. So if I click here, you get a set of PDF notes, which is basically the transcript of his video. So just the students don't need to bother about jotting notes down themselves. They can print them out uh, for themselves if they want after it. And then also, and this is my favorite bit about it, you get some uh, kind of skill testing things. So David has kindly handwritten 10 questions on SIRS there, but better than that, on the following pages, there are full work solutions for it. And just what an absolutely fantastic resource that is for students to supplement the work that they've done in the classroom. And as I said, the whole of GCSE uh, main topics are covered there, broken down to higher and foundation. And then look at this for A-level maths, where I'm always encouraging my A-level students to be as independent as they can. But often they struggle kind of learning from a textbook because it's very static and, and non-dynamic. But if I give them this to learn, 
absolutely fantastic they've got videos there they've got somebody talking through at their own pace they've got notes they've got things to test and they've got examples really really good so how best to use this well the most kind of obvious way is to just give your students access to this site for revision and indeed that's what I've done with my GCSE students and my A-level students because they find it an invaluable resource and they can kind of learn at their own speed and as I say they can pause the video rewind it play it as many times as they like try the examples out I've also used these um, uh, examples or the kind of questions here the exercise <laughs> that's what I'm looking for I've used those for homework because they're really kind of short snappy skill testing things and then I've given uh, my students the um, answers to mark themselves or do a bit of peer-to-peer -peer marking. So you can use it on, on that level very, very successfully. But I've also gambled with this flipped learning or the flipped classroom that um, I'm sure you've, you've heard of. It. It's becoming increasingly popular via things like Khan Academy. Because what David actually does in, the in his videos is the kind of first 20 minutes of a lesson, the kind of teaching element of it. And often some students in your class get that very quickly and don't need the full 20 minutes and don't need three or four examples. And other students need a lot longer than that. They need to see the example again. They need it slowed down. So what I've done with my year 11s, I've experimented with this, is actually set them a video to do for homework of a topic that they've not been taught before. So to watch the video through, to use the notes, to use the examples. And they, they then arrive at the lesson with a basic knowledge. And I can then help them develop problem solving and take the understanding a bit further or address some any misconceptions that they might have. And it just, it means that the learning is more individualized for the students themselves. If they've got it, they can go through it quicker. I'm not slowing them down. And if they haven't got it, they don't feel under pressure. They can go as slow as they want. They can watch as many times as they want. So websites like this, absolutely fantastic, lend themselves to both those kind of ways of using them. And I can't sing its praises highly enough, the maths teacher. So please recommend that to your students and see what they get out of it. And I'll be back with a fresh WebWiz video next week. Bye for now.